Grizzlies fans have been camping out since 7 in the morning here on the campus of Xavier. It's a big game. Xavier Villanova coming up. Standing room only, folks. It's the game of the year in the Big East. Toughest ticket in town. Number one, Villanova. Number five, Xavier. And this crowd fully engaged. The Wildcats are on top of the basketball world. A chef who drives it in and throws it down. But the Musketeers are riding their highest ranking ever, and knocking off Nova is job number one. Edmund Sumner has been fantastic today. It's a top five battle between two teams that perfectly define the Big East. It's the biggest thing that's happening on their campus. It's pure basketball. And tonight, there's no holding back. For one night in the Queen City, you know, all eyes of the country are on that game. Villanova, Xavier, right now on FS1. The Ford FS1 College Hoops Tip-Off is sponsored by the Ford F-150. Every other truck is history. Here at the Cintas Center on the campus of Xavier University, this place has been on fire for the last half hour as number one Villanova's in town to take on number five Xavier. What an atmosphere here today. And why don't we welcome you courtside as we take you up to the opening tip. Steve Lavin, the coach with me, and I'm Kevin Burkhardt. Glad to have you along, Coach Lav. This place has been bonkers. And here's why. The Big East standings, the two top teams in the conference. Villanova at 13-1, Xavier 12-3. One of those losses was to Villanova by 31 points on New Year's Eve. You have a feeling today might be different. But how about this, Coach, as we head now to the conference tournament? Take me through this game as a coach. Chris Mack and Jay Wright, what are they feeling? What are they thinking about heading into tonight? Well, naturally, all teams, both coaches, is aware of what's at stake, the significance of this game. But what's ideal from a coaching perspective is in February, you get an opportunity to see how your team responds under pressure. You can't simulate these conditions. We're looking at two number one seeds or a one and a two seed. So this is the equivalent of an elite eight matchup in February, a sneak preview to see how your team does under these conditions. How do they respond? And then for real, it starts with March Madness. Yeah, it does. Beating a number one team is not easy we know that when you were coaching at UCLA your teams did it four years in a row which is pretty incredible but how does Xavier have to approach this and what's their biggest challenge here tonight well Xavier with so much at stake in terms of having lost six games to Villanova and the league championship still a possibility one seeds in the NCAA tournament so it's important they channel their energy in an effective manner they can't jump over the fight they've got to stay in the fight execute for 40 minutes. How they manage that fire or energy will be critical to their success in terms of playing for two hours or 40 minutes. Villanova introduced this place about to go nuts. Let's watch and listen. Junior guard from Plainfield, New 
jersey, number 15, Miles Davis. And a 6'4", senior guard from Louisville, number 10, Remy Abel. The head coach for the senior in his seventh season is Chris Bass. He's assisted by Travis Steele, Mike Dickies, and Luke Murray. Director of Basketball Administration, Morgan Material. Director of Basketball Operations, Jeremy Rowe. Athletic trainer, David Plunker. And strength coach, Matt Jennings. They cue the lights and we get set for basketball. Should be a great one. Villanova and Xavier. Let's go across the court to the guys calling the game. Gus Johnson, Bill Raftery. Fellas, take it away. The Sintas Center is rocking. Welcome to Cincinnati, Ohio. Standing room only. 10,250 crazy fans in attendance as the number one team in the nation comes into town. The Villanova Wildcats ready to take on the X-Men of Xavier. Hi everybody, I'm Gus Johnson along with the governor, Coach Bill Raftery, and welcome to the Queen City, Coach number one versus Ooh. number five. Let's get this thing popping early. I know you're ready. We got some players out here. They don't have to hide anybody on either end of the floor. I think the key, 50-50 balls, transition D. All right, let's take a look at the starting lineups brought to you by Jeep Renegade. And when you look at these two teams, who jumps out at you? Well, Josh Hart, when you look at Villanova, terrific performer, works all 40 minutes and on the other side had been Sumner really a great talent feeling comfortable after that serious accident in the earlier Villanova game GQJ 54 years old in his 15th season at Villanova he's made the NCAA tournament 10 of the last 11 years his assistants Baker Dunleavy Ashley Howard and Kyle Neptune Chris Mack 46 years old, seventh season at Xavier. He's the mid-season National Coach of the Year by the Sporting News. He's led Xavier to the NCAA tournament five times in six years, including three Sweet 16s. His assistants, Travis Steele, Mike Pagese, Luke Murray. Your officials for this evening, Brian O'Connell, Jeffrey Anderson, and Brent Hampton. The last meeting between these two teams, Villanova beat Xavier 95-64 at the Pavilion. In the conference opener, Archie Diakono with the 27-point performance, including seven threes. And we're underway from the Natty. Gus Johnson right now. Villanova Goose! Here comes a talented freshman out of Detroit Summer. Played sparingly in the first meeting. Gets the ball, goes to the basket, and breaks in his first shot Ooh. of the game. Well, he has speed and adjustments at the rim. Pretty. So Xavier on the board. And here comes Nova. They beat Butler 77 to 67 at the pavilion on Saturday. Josh Hart with a 22-point performance. Inside Brunson on the big hop. Fadeaway jump shot, 11-footer, and good. Uh, this team does a great job pump faking. Xavier's got to stay on the floor, play their guy. Particularly Jenkins. Now Reynolds calling for it inside. He's guarded by O'Sheffy. O'Sheffy's got to do his homework early. He's going to be cheap fouls. Nice Sum show by him. Sumner. Keep your eye on him, folks. He's got feline quickness. D. Davis. Off the heel. And O'Sheffy with the board. Great Excuse balance. me, Miles Davis. D. Davis left. <laughs> Yeah, Miles, a good spot up shooter. Jenkins, so see. Nick's move hits his first shot. And, and Chris Mack, uh, you saw him talking about Jenkins on a play. Beautiful finger roll. Not a good play, a sellout of sorts by O'Shea. And if Jalen Reynolds can stay out of foul trouble, this is a dangerous Xavier team. Well, you get him a little confidence there by trying to deny the ball and running through. Yakino, last game against Butler. Nine points, nine assists, no turnovers. 17 assists, no turnovers last two games for the arc. The senior captain, Brunson, forcing his way to the bucket. And hits. Boy, I'll tell you what, Temple, he was sensational, playing with a lot of confidence. He's going down the home stretch of the season. And a 25-point game against Temple. Andre Davis inside the Louis, thanks to John. 
a little defensive elapse. Everybody's pretty relaxed when you consider how big this game is nationally. What a pace to start, though, Coach. Great, that. great to watch it. And both teams play with a lot of confidence. And we're double now. A chef will cross court, runs in, rise and fires. Short. Blue it, rips it. He's tough in the early blow. Ooh, deep. A lot of ball screens are going over plays. A lot of confidence, always in a shooting form. Ready to deliver on the catch. Jenkins has been working on his post-up game. They need him on the box in this one. And Turn around, jump shot, baseline side. In and out. And they like to, he likes to bounce. Nice little resistance defensively. Sumner again down the lane to kick. Davis, quick release. Sweet music. Got a smile. Not a bad strummer with that delivery. But you got to stay on the catch on Davis. 9 7 Xavier. Jenkins fired. Miles Davis the other way. Got to match up. Summer on the baseline. The teardrop short. Got it around. Archie Diacono with it. Terrific balance by Xavier. Nothing easy early for the catch. A Josh Hart. One of the toughest players in the nation. He usually gets off to a slow start, but he can score points in bunches. Well, the second half is of his time, but a terrific defender in Remy Abel on him. Now, Archie Diakono, eight to shoot. Backs up on Miles Davis. New wrinkle in his game and a foul. 15.58 to play in the first half. Great pace to start. One versus five in the Big East Conference. And the X-Men lead. The Villanova Wildcats by two. New Year's Eve, these two teams met in the Big East opener. Edmund Sumner suffered a concussion early in the game. Then, the Wildcats took over with Ryan Archidiakono hitting seven of 14 three-pointers on his way to a 27.8 assist game. And Villanova beat then number six Xavier, 95-64, as we take a look at the AP Top 10, two Big East teams in the top five. How impressive. An incredible run by both these teams. Solid basketball. No turnovers, Gus. Solid play. Good shot selection. A couple of mishaps defensively. A little sellout. Uh, but uh, great balance by Xavier. Nothing easy. And Villanova losing to Virginia and Oklahoma. And Hawaii to Oklahoma and at Virginia. Seven wins in a row for the Wildcats. Phil Booth is checked in for Villanova. Here's O'Sheffer guarded by Farr across the lane with the jump hook, and it's pure. Well, how about his development over the years, huh? Plays with some confidence. Nice out of the timeout. Go to the big guy. Let him deliver. Daniel O'Sheffer at six points and eight rebounds in their last game against Butler. Miles Davis guarded by Jenkins. And the key to this team, I think, is Farr staying inside, doing damage all year for Xavier. Davis curling down the lane, on the bounce, hangs in the air, draws contact. Underneath there, it was Booth, but the big guy, and the ability to use those big legs, and just great patience here. And he couldn't do this when he came to Villanova a few years. That's a lot of hard work, and his development has got a lot of eyes open at that next level, Gus. Jeff Hu, rounding back into form after missing three games due to a concussion. Miles Davis. Seven points on one of six shooting, four rebounds in 28 minutes on Saturday in their win over Georgetown. Because he plays old, and a great head for the game. It makes big plays, you know, he'd be quiet for long spells and then drill a jumper or be creative at the rim. Davis off to a good start, he has five points. Archie Diakono. Sumner's got that responsibility, tough to get that jumper off. Inside of Jeffrey, it looks weak side. They swing it, Jenkins, big move. Ooh, did they make him pay for that rotation? Great ball movement, a little hum on it. Coach, 
Jenkins may have the prettiest jumper in the Big East. You're disappointed when it doesn't go in. He does have a wonderful stroke, but just the ability to get around the horn. Post, kick, get him organized, and drill it. Learned it from his mom, Felicia. Now Davis, started by R.G. Diakono, and a foul. She should be the shot doctor, I think, huh? Yeah, I tell you something can shoot like this. And Sheffield picks up his first, Jay Wright. Didn't like the call. Great trio of officials. Or nothing. We've got a small business, and we needed a new website. I talked to a web design company. Trio of officials this evening working this game. Brian O'Connell, Jeffrey Anderson, and Brent Hampton. Now that changes the way Oshefu plays now. He's going to be under control, be in the right spots. Blew it off the bounce. Strength, poise, great frame for this game. Rayvon blew it, a sophomore. He's a young man out of Park Tudor High School in Indianapolis that averaged 30 a game in high school. Hard did a nice job moving. Oshepo off the box. 13 to shoot. Archie Diakono, and he's fouled up top by Sumner. Not a good one, but anytime he's over half court, he's got that kind of range. But great form, confidence, certainly didn't play in any church league with that high trajectory. Big East player of the week for the second time. At 23 against Providence, and 13 against Georgetown. Baseline. Jenkins again. And he gets a roll. I told you, Cole. Uh, you're right. Well, that's a fortuitous one. But you can't leave him alone. Over help. You're going to stay tight with him. Akira. To the basket. Double clutch short. Goes with a rebound. Well, these two teams are so fundamentally so nice. Top and they bite. Oh, Jenkins to the hole this time. Now you heard Chris Mack saying, don't go for the fake. It's amazing. Looks on his eyebrows and puts it on the deck. Big move with 11 to start. Driven over with a 17-13 lead. Davis wraps it around. Sumner for three. Rebound it. Blew it. Put up top. No call. And save from going out of bounds by Jenkins. A lot of referees here. Jenkins has hit the last eight for Nova. Hart now. You can't close out out of balance. Too tough. Great ability to use that strength as well. And Chris Mack not real happy. He's made about the not call at the other end. Would you bite on this, guys? You are a great defender. Uptick. The big fella, Burley of frame, able to deliver. Go, go, go. Start my car. You talk, it starts. Remote start on the all-new Hyundai Elantra. Did he just talk start that car? I just wanted to hug him. I was gonna eat him. Thought you were vegan. That's my cheat day, so I'll just eat around it. You're gonna come to one of the most famous arenas in the world. And, and you, you, as soon as you get in there, you're going to just feel how special it is. The thrill walking out there and the sound in the garden of the crowd. It's deep and it's echoing. It sends chills up your spine. That's right, Big East Tournament, 9th through the 12th of March at Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena. And the championship game will be on Big Fox, folks. Chris Mack wants to get there. He feels like he has the talent this season. He does a terrific basketball. By the way, there's no way Jay takes care <laughs> He's a limo guy, you know that. Uh, you are correct, sir. <laughs> Sounds fade. Blew it, a three. After a nice find by Sumner. 
It's interesting, you know, the scouting report, you can't drift away from the shooters. Blewett just weighed in this week at 205. This time last year, he was 225. Mm. Commitment. Hart, straightaway jump shot. Rims off. Some matchup when you got Hart, some that... Step back, jump shot, McCure. Bridges getting some minutes when Randall's now. Still some time with a Sheffield with that one foul. Villanova is the first number one team to play here at Centos. Cross court. Hart shows it on the big Save from going out of bounds into the hands of Bridges. Nice pass. Reynolds. And he's foul going up. Boy, well, unselfish look by Bridges. But Sumner, a guy we've talked about, guys, big time ability. Understands when to drill the deep one. Also, the five draws two. Get those puppies organized and drill it. Big East College Hoops on FS1 is sponsored by Jeep Renegade. It's how we live four by forever. Our score here, 1916. Number one, Nova, on top of number five, Xavier. This weekend, that's on Atlanta. Beginning on Saturday with Xfinity Series Racing on FS1. As special guest, Clint Boyer will be in the booth to call the action. Then Sunday, it's the Folds of Honor Quick Trip 500. Sponsored by Coca-Cola at 12.30 Eastern on Fox and streaming live on Fox Sports Go. You know, Gus, we talked at the beginning of the show about you're not hiding anybody. And, and a terrific job by finding, particularly Xavier, any overhelp by Villanova. They've been forced to kick it effectively. Blue getting some really clean looks as he gets a blow right now. Jalen Reynolds, excuse me, Daryl Reynolds at the line. Last five games, he's 17 of 20, shooting 85%. Last seven games, he's averaging close to seven rebounds. You know, Sheffield went out those three games with the concussion. This kid really stepped up. Rich, outstanding basketball kid, really learning how to play, too. Of course, you get better playing against the big guy, Sheffield. You know, he's one of those kids, he's athletic, he's long. Runs that high ball screen effectively. Not afraid to roll and lock to him either. And that 17 of 20 shooting is from the field, folks, not the free throw line. So when he gets it close to the basket, he's been very effective. And it's the first time the three-quarter court pressure is able to be effective. Handling it beautifully. They worked hard on it the last couple of days. Larry Austin Jr. in now at the point. More of a zone look now at the end of it. Trading people, a lot of finger pointing in a positive way, I might add. Kaiser Gates also in talented freshman from Atlanta. Miles Davis. Strong loose ball. And Kaiser Gates comes up with a rebound. And he can stick shots too. Gates, baseline, Makura driving, double clutch. How about that using the rim? Okay, he's another one of those kids who can really stroke it so. Effectively, you run out or don't show as that case was. 21 18. With a 1 3 1 look, first time. And a foul over the back. Looks like this is going against Hart. I can just see the run out a little bit late as Hart tries to get out, but use that rib just to ward off any danger uh, by a big guy. Just extra ball movement. Kaiser with a terrific little. Oh, fish and chest pass. More importantly, Josh Hart picked up his second foul. He has to take a seat at the 10 46 mark. Let's see if he comes back in. Straight man now. Bates has got an ability to elevate now over Brunson if he gets it. Davis, nine to shoot. Off inside, knocked away by Mikel Bridges. Nice screen from the back. Helping your partner out. Seven to shoot. Davis. 
quick fire. Rebounded by Archie Diakono, who just checked in. Lead pass, Brunson. Baseline, Brunson, last it. First turnover, baseline, here's McKinnon. Oh. That's Goldberg. What a nice run. Terrific read. The open floor, the find. Larry Austin's got some jets. Oh. And McKinnon really attacking that rim. Such a positive frame. Now, when we talked to Jay Wright before the game, one of his concerns, transition defense, because Xavier can get up and down with the quickness. Absolutely, and they shortened the floor on occasion as well. Crowd responding now. They shuffle on the floor with just that one foul. Ten minutes. Baseline. Boom. Jenkins from D. And a foul coming up on the floor against Xavier. Either well, Gates or McCure. I'm not sure they're going to give it to McCure. He's a physical kind of a player. His first foul, guys. He does bring some life to the floor, doesn't he? GP. That's the steal. Austin the steal. Austin the trailer. McCure to the hole. And one. JP. McCure. Yes, we just talked about this kid attacking the rim. Great read. They walked through the out-of-bounds plays. His read was wonderful, but he does not mind taking a hit and able to deliver just a good understanding. Paying attention to the scouting report. He knows there's traffic. Protects, finishes, and a chance for three. Twenty-three, twenty-one. Number one versus number five. The crew brings some toughness to this team and floor. Booth, deep, and hits. Phil Booth from Baltimore, Maryland. I'll tell you, watching him at pre-game shoot around, he was knocking down that jumper. Right, nice job breaking his guy down, though. He gave him opportunity and space. Cross court, Miles Davis. They can't be that free. Guys leaving the shooters. Two top five teams playing like it. And what an atmosphere, too. It's fantastic. Bridges. And, and good defense by Matura. Jay a little bit upset. Musketeer happy, though. This guy's always got a happy face. They should hang with him in the evening. We've got about a third turnover in the last two minutes for Villanova. And here's the team on the season that averages 11. With brush screen, ball screen. And a foul up top. Villanova foul number five. That's still moving. Not moving the legs and getting the small change. Ball against them. Bill Booth picking up his first. See, Hart out of the game. He's got the toughness you need to play McCure, too. This is a tough matchup, I think, for Bridges. J.P. McCure, folks, has in the gym range. He can shoot it from anywhere. Bridges got a road with one. Gates driving. And a blocking foul called against Villanova. Looks like Bridges. Well, they're doing a nice job, whether it's the jumper or mixing it up with dribble drive, creating opportunities around the rim. Not really any close up yet for Xavier. Bridges called for his first. So that will send Kaiser Gates to the line. What an athlete, folks. True freshman, 6'8, long, lean, and can shoot the lights out of it. Oh, I thought you were talking about me. <laughs> he is strong. Rebound. His ability to struggle. Kira leaves with seven points. Well, the crowd really responded to Bakura. Solid run during his minutes. And he missed a pair. Brunson, Booth, Ochefu, Jenkins. 
And the arch on the court for Villanova. Leeds has got to stay at home, trying to post up. Austin with the small change, but it's like you walking into the room, Gus Johnson. Some energy, some drive. The ability to attack the rim, to ward off, use the rim, and finish and get a chance for free throws as well. Some toughness in that kid. From Lakeville, Minnesota, averaging close to 10 a game on the year. He's got seven already. Boom, throws the corner, gets it a hole. Can't lay it in. Austin Jr. Finds a shooter, blew it. Rebounded and stuck back in by James Fox. And that's him running the floor. Got himself in position for offensive rebound. Largest lead of the game so far for Xavier as they rise to their feet. at Sintas. 12-3 run for the X-Men. Archie Diakono picked it up. Everybody's a threat, though. Jenkins, seven to shoot. He's got a hurry. Trying to create. Booth, three to shoot. Driving to the hole. And can't jam it in. Boy, that was pretty athletic, though. You, this is an eye pleasing game, isn't it? Certainly. Good. Attack, attack. A look at the bent mismatch, but they don't go. Guns at the up and over the top. He should be able to offensive rebound. Steps. And traveling is the ball. First turnover of the game for Xavier. There's fire in the center. center. Chris Mack and Miles Davis stroking it early. Track against Seton Hall, then St. John's takes on DePaul. It's all right here on FS1, sponsored by the Jeep Renegade. It's how we live four by forever. 28-24, Xavier leads Villanova. Let's go inside the huddle with Chris Mack. Chris Mack played under Pete Gillen and Skip Prosser. Worked on Prosser's staff at Xavier and Wake Forest. Replaced Sean Miller. I tell you what, this young man, and he's a young man, only 46 years old, really coaches the game. He gets after it, no question about it. He's really got it rolling here at this great university. But initially, I thought, what a great defensive coach. And the more you watch them, they do some great things on the offensive end. But speaking of the defense, Jenkins, the first six minutes had 11 points. And zero points the last seven minutes. They really tightened up on him and don't leave him. You got to hug him. Inside of Chefu. Sweeps it across. Drops the basket and travel. And that's all size. Far. A manly approach to the defensive end. One thing you like about James Farr is he knows how to play and stay out of foul trouble. Mm -hmm. He's been a big factor. And they're great success this season. He and Reynolds rotate. Sumner back in the game. Baseline far. Good position on Archie Diakono. Jump for partially blocked by Ochefu. Yeah, nice help. He knew the arch was in difficulty. Now Brunson. Josh Hart back in a three. Sumner tracks it down in the corner. Villanova with only three points in the last five and a half minutes. Sumner turns the corner, a teardrop. Uh, Go the other way, I think, yeah. Little hold. It may have been far. He didn't need it either. Xavier foul number two, that's James Farr. James Farr. That's his Captain first of his team. Foul, How about his adjustment, guys? He was a three-point shooter, or at least he thought he was, you know? I think he's got six attempts this year. And just really banging it low. It's led to this wonderful run. He's looking forward to guarding Ochefu this evening. And old slightly different people on the post. Hart, and then he's back out to the corner. Hart driving reverse layup short. Here comes Remy Abel. Sumner leaves the DJ. Excuse me, Miles Davis. You see the closeout by Hart, though. That was an open shot. Mismatch inside. Miles. Oh. 
On the Diacono inside of Jeffu. Great look. And Jeffu misses the layup. Oh, they got the elbow. That's frustration. That puts him in a hole. Two fouls. And once you get out here, I don't know if he even hit him, did he? It looked like it. That's amazing. This is what started it. A little frustrated, but on that angle, it looks like he did. But the other, let's see if he touches him here. No. That's a Sonny Liston. That's a, a phantom punch in Lewiston, Maine. <laughs> wow. Uh, they, 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 this is tough on officials. They're going to look at it. And when you see it as a ref, you feel terrible. No question about it. This is the savvy vet duping the officials. Are you going to believe me or your lying eyes? <laughs> that should be a song, I think, don't you? He knows. Such a smart kid, let me tell you. New Jersey, what do you expect? Uh, of course. Miles Davis, Notre Dame prep. Plainfield, New Jersey. A little time at St. Benedict's as well. Great. School, prep school in Newark. I hope they do get the one angle where you see the whiff, basically. I mean, if you whiff and intend to hit somebody, that could be a violation as well. I don't think there was any no, intent no, here. I don't either. I think he's just playing basketball. Just trying to snatch the ball away. Miles Davis. Yeah, the officials have taken a look. Well, that hurts when you think of the lack of big people. Oh, they, they wipe out the foul. That's good officiating, huh? Yes, it is. Guarded by Archie Diakono. Big challenge for this young, young man, guarded by a senior. Nice side. With the Tomahawk jam. And what a look from the top from an excellent shooter. Miles Davis with the punch inside. And the strong conclusion. 30 to 24. Xavier. Cross court. Jenkins. Drive, stop, fires, hits, and draws a foul. Big smooth. And when you can shoot it like him, Gus, you can own the guy. Coach wants me to get out, close out, under control. And boy, for his size, very agile and effective at the rim. But look at this pass. Send it in, big fella. How about the quick hops by Reynolds? You watch this kid in practice. He is astounding around that rim. Meanwhile, Blue picks up his second foul. Jenkins at the line. Adds a free throw. He's got 14 in the first half. Blue takes a seat. Gates back on the floor. Now here comes that three-quarter court pressure by Villanova. Davis, baseline, Makura. As the Wildcats speed you up when they do that. They did, and they, they should have let him instead uh, behind them. But Jenkins, I mentioned he had been quiet of late. The range, the ability to really work defenders because of his now bouncing ability as well. Lost a ton of weight during the offseason. Double screen. It's big responsibility. They, they get what they want now. Sumner. Hart crosses over, drives baseline, gets it. But oh, he's had some tough opportunities, unable to convert. Cross court. Sumner. And he dribbles it out of bounds. You know, I was thinking of before when the, uh, the foul Davis, we thought he got elbowed. Mm -hmm. The referees could call something on him in the rope up now if he dupes it or fakes it. The Reggie Miller flop. Yeah. Oh, you Nick guys. That's what it's called nowadays. Roger Diakono scoreless 
in the first half. Baseline Jenkins shows it. Nice job. That one's by Gates. They switch sides. Mark to Diakono. Nine to shoot. Jenkins. Open side. Quick release. Boy, this is a really competitive game, isn't it? I just love the way they're going after one another. Nice front by Reynolds. Sumner. Secure back in. He's got seven points. Miles Davis. He's been feeling it. Cross court. Secure. Oh. Check. Oh. How about that? The find as Mature replaces. 33-27, Xavier, the number one team in the nation. 1-3-1 again, guys. Trailing the number five team. Hart, one of six from the field. 14-footer. Yeah, he's really having his struggles. Here comes a freshman. Makura, heat check. Kevin Burkhardt back here at Cintas Center. Coming up at the halftime, Jeep Renegade Halftime Report. Coach Lavin will be here talk about what Villanova has to do, the adjustments to get back in this game. Let's go across the court now. Gus and Raff take it the rest of the way, guys. All right, Burkhardt, thank you very much as we take a look at the game summary. Uh, it's all about McCure on the one side. Jenkins has been solid. I mean, whether it's the dribble or the drive, but the play of JP. Physical play with some toughness. And you add a little touch, a long range, get a towel, that baby's wet. In my line. And he is juiced, and I think they are as a team as well as this crowd. And McCura scored a career high 20 points against Marquette, five games back, hitting seven of eight shots. He scored 13 of the team's last 20 points as Xavier. Leads at 36 to 27, largest lead of the game. Let's see how Villanova responds. They got to close out the half. Both clubs. Next 230. Extremely important how you play. Last season at Cintas, uh, Diakono hits a jump shot. Last season at Cintas, Xavier led 40 to 33 at halftime, but Nova won by 12. Mm. Keep that in mind. There's a little bit of competitiveness in these two teams. No question about it. Arch just displayed his. Reynolds wants it, guarded by Ocheffi. Lost it. Archie Diakono the other way. Ocheffi, up and grinded. Nice cut. Inside. And one. Jenkins again. How about the big guy with poise? Number 23. A good feel and understanding. Just a great cut from the top here. You can see the pointing not really communicating as well as you have to, but a great dive by Jenkins. Boy, he's leaving it all out there. Well, NBA scouts have come into Villanova, and they said that Jenkins has the ability to be an NBA two-guard. And if his mom, Felicia, has anything to do with it, it's going to happen. She texts Jay Wright every day and always says stay on my son as much as possible well you love to hear that don't you pretty good support system Akira in and out dribble with a hole the flip no oh Diakono dives for it and can't hold on yeah just too many hands in there McCure looking for the body contact, trying to get to the free throw line, instead of concentrating on that shot. Xavier is led by as many as nine in this first half. Villanova by as many as six. Some great individual performances, Makura and Jenkins. Jenkins with 17 points, his career high is 23. And he's got 17 in the first half. He's to get some uh, wet spots on the floor. 
The cure is still begging for a call on that last drive. He's relentless. Sumner. He can get to the basket at any time. There's a little brush, ball screen. Miles hands it off. Sumner down the lane. The kick. Makura again. And an offensive foul coming up. Looks like Brunson may have pushed far in the back. Well, that's that little matchup situation where they end up with little guys playing bigger guys. Offensive rebounding. Google right to the glass. And they call it on Daryl Reynolds, who will leave the game. Josh Hart, Ochefu, back in. James Farr, he's the bread and butter of this team. I'll say, he's the presence. One thing that's helped his game coach, he stopped eating bread and butter. He's, he's got a Bill Raftery type diet. I'll have the fish with a little butter and lemon, that's it. Even though I didn't see you eat a steak the other night, the first time in three years. Well, I wasn't paying. <laughs> that's one way of enjoying it. Some things never change. Uh, I'm trying to teach you. Bar missing the free throw. I think also adding to the diet is his ability to stay around the rim. That's what's given him a comfort zone in this team. Great satisfaction. Archie Diakono shows it. Cross court, no look. Jenkins, pump fake, give a drive, and he's fouled. There's that. They, everybody bites. Unbelievable. Those guys are walking down. Almost like kicking stones over there. You know, we've talked about this. And it's amazing, Coach, you know, when you get a chance like us to follow a league and you see a kid like Chris Jenkins come into college. He's chubby. He's got a lot of talent. But you see the work that he's put into it. You, you watch Jenkins before the game. And he's got his jersey off and just basically practicing in a T-shirt. He is chiseled. And he is a tough-looking kid, no question about it. Very mature physically and a great attitude. Thinks offense can mix his game up now. That's the big difference. He said his mom and his dad had him out in the backyard when he was five years old, showing him how to shoot that jumper, keep that elbow in, get it up high. And it is a pure looking stroke. A lot of practice, a lot of work. Right out of Georgetown's backyard. 8 0 run for Villanova since being down by nine. Sumner. Good job, not found. Nice look again. Five it in the five. How Miles Davis. He's amazing. He's making some nice music out there, Miles. Terrific find. Great job locating and getting right to the rim where he can do the damage. They're not too far away and pleasing to the eyes. This is just terrific. Look at the snap. Chest pass. Send it in. Boy, that's a solid basketball. Taking advantage of any mismatches size-wise. Thirty-eight, thirty-five. Under a minute to play in the first half. Number one versus number five. Archie Diakono deep. James can't hold on. Oh, they say it's last touch by the Wildcats. Ooh. Well, nobody really argued with it, though. Then you know Sheffield, you don't want to get, to get a foul. They extend the floor right now. Make the use of time, Xavier. Sumner. Trayvon and Billy, a nice, nice play. Yeah, Steer, Archie Diakono driving, and he'll lay it in. Boy, I can relate to that. Nice Old fashioned, but what a nice read. He's stepping in on the exchange. Shot clock turned off, game clock at 13. For Sumner. They like to spread the floor for him in these situations. 15 footer. Throwing a foul, yeah. Nice pull up. 
He's an interesting player, Gus, because of his ability to make that standstill step in for a mid-range game and also the speed to get to the rim. His first game back was Marquette after the concussion, and he, like, juked to the right and went left strong and finished big time. So he's back. Out of Detroit Country Day, the same high school as the great Chris Weber and the great Shane Battier. High cotton, huh? Great praise for that program. How did Tom Izzo and John Beeline let this guy get out of town? Well, kids make decisions despite what you want, right? Sleep at the wheel, Coach Beeline, Ooh, Coach Izzo. Boy, you're taking the local guys to task here. Extend the floor now, doing the same as Villanova did. Got to be careful. Don't gamble on the backcourt. Brunson throws it in and loses it. Reynolds rebounded. Austin, no. And that's the end of the first half. Whew. Terrific job. Big on the inbound pass. Just couldn't convert. Chris Mack. And the Musketeers are 22-0 when leading at halftime. They head to the locker room with a 40-37 lead over number one ranked Villanova. They believe. Introducing. Welcome to the Jeep Renegade FS1 College Hoops Halftime Report. It's how we live four by forever. Here at the Cintas Center, J.P. Mercure, a huge spark off the bench for Xavier, and they've got the lead 40-37 to 37 over Villanova at the break. Welcome back courtside. Coach Steve Lavin is here, and I'm Kevin Burkhardt. And, well, Coach, a lot of things here to talk about. Certainly Mercure, Xavier, one of them. But as we take a look at the Jeep Renegade highlights, uh, Villanova maybe could have been leading this game. Well, the point blank misses, uh, some missed dunks, missed layups, uh, uncharacteristic of this Villanova team. Now, in fairness, uh, obviously the adrenaline, uh, the surge, uh, the vital signs are north, uh, but they settled down late and began to finish, uh, got the feet organized and made high percentage finishes in that run to close it to a one possession game. If I'm Jay Wright, I'm pleased that I absorbed that initial power surge with Xavier going up nine and then was able to counter punch to cut it to a one possession yeah, game. On, on that, what happened? Xavier uh, got hot, McCurry hit a three, they're up nine. Look like they're about to run away with the game. Well, that's the challenge of a game like this. You've got to sustain the effort when you're playing against the championship team like Villanova. If you're up nine, you've got to keep that emotional fuel steady in terms of the way you expend it. Can't be in the peaks or valleys. Just got to keep playing. And I think that's what Villanova was able to do and why they got back into this game. Tell you what, fun basketball game. Good Woo! basketball being wow. played. They're the number one and number five team in the land, and they are playing like it here tonight. Meanwhile, for Villanova, the guy that's driving the offensive train has been Chris Jenkins and that smooth shot from downtown. It's Xavier by three over number one Villanova at the break. More to come. Well, speaking of that, two weeks, Big East Tournament takes center stage of the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. You can see all the action on FS1. Teams fighting for their NCAA tournament lives, and coverage begins March 9th at 6.30. It's going to be fun if this game's any indication, because this has been a whale of the first half. Xavier up by three on number one, Villanova. And now for the Wildcats in the second half, Coach, you feel like they've got to go inside a little, right? Well, they have to get Ochefu touches. Uh, the fact that he's the hub of the wheel offensively for Villanova. He's a very adequate, capable post passer, so they're inside-outside action. Plus, the high percentage looks going to come through with Jeffu. And then Josh Hart has to step up. One of seven, only one rebound. That's an indication he's not being aggressive enough and not getting organized at the rim to finish some point-blank shots. And Josh Hart is an emerging star. He's a critical piece in late clock, late-game situations for Villanova. So expect a Jeffu and Hart to step up. If you're Xavier, you want to continue what's allowed you to get to this point, their aggressiveness, beating Villanova the punch. I expect a counter punch throughout 
the rest of this second half. What we saw in the first half, we'll see more of in the second. Yeah, Jenkins had a great first half for Villanova. We know about McCure and his scoring off the bench, but Miles Davis, too, splendid. The all-around game continuing to get it done. The number one team in the land, are they in a little bit of trouble? We'll find out. Down at number five, Xavier, what a first half, and we've got the second half coming up. Boom! Action all over the place from Centos Center. We're back. Big East College Hoops on FS1 is sponsored by Jeep Renegade. It's how we live for, by, forever. Centa Center here in the Queen City of Cincinnati, where Xavier leads Villanova 40 to 37. Welcome back, folks. Gus Johnson along with the governor, Coach Bill Raftery. Coach, some great individual performances in that first half. Well, you brought up Jenkins frequently. So many good things he did. His ability to pump fake, get attention, move those puppies. Just a solid performance, even getting to the rim as well. You just can't give him uh, this much distance. And certainly with the time, gets a nice bounce. But how about J.P. McCurry? He took this game personally. He really went after it. Exhibited great toughness as he attacked the rim and then his ability to stretch it out and knock down deep threes. And time for our first half stats brought to you by Jeep Renegade. Coach, what do you see? I, I think the fast break points we said before the game, loose balls, easy baskets become key. Two tough-minded defensive teams. It's the ability to assist and make passes. Big move leading the way. 19 in the first half. R.G. Diakono has played a solid overall game. Five points, five rebounds, four assists. They have to get Josh Hart going. And he's a second-half player. He sure is. Great balance for Xavier. Yeah, J.P. was just outstanding. No question about Miles Davis with some great looks besides the ability to knock him down and blew it deep. And just to clear one thing up, uh, that second foul they did give to Oshefu, they said it was... No flagrant is what they were saying. He does so, and he's got two. I'm thinking to myself, how could they wipe it out? So we start the second half. Villanova down 40 to 37 inside Jenkins again. <laughs> Tough match. And you mentioned the physique, the broad shoulder, Brickley like when Charles was felt. How about this? Taking a hit. And that's what's enhanced his game, his ability to post up and bounce. And Chris Mack was doing this at practice yesterday, showing the guys what he's going to do. And uh, yeah, nobody really raking down and helping. Blewett picked up his third. Jenkins, who's coming off a 20-point game against Butler on Saturday, has 22. His career high is 23 against Virginia. And Trayvon Bang is going to give him a little space, but not too much. Now Sumner pick and roll. Baseline, Miles Davis. Nice find. And Miles plays wherever he can help the team. He can run the show, be that shooting guard as well. He has 11. This one has the potential to be a special second half, folks. One versus five. Brunson off the dribble. Blasted out by Ochefu. And Xavier will get it again. Uh, just the ability to put the ball on the deck and be creative and find people. Look at the, the space here. Some they're able to find and locate. And just see the over help and the closeout's going to be tardy, particularly with a guy who's got the quick jet release. Knockdown Davis. For Xavier, their only losses this year are in conference play at Nova, at home to Georgetown, and at Creighton. Nice high load. Oh, nice hands by Hart. Made himself bigger. Jenkins in transition. Hart needs to hit one. And down the foul. He normally knocks things in, doesn't he? He's really having trouble around the rim, but just facing and a good harass on the passer makes it a tough location. A terrific job by Hart. He knows a little bit of everything for this club. Josh Hart 
on the season, averaging 15 points a game. Second foul called on Reynolds at 22 on 8 of 16 shooting. 12 rebounds against Butler on Saturday. And three things you need to know about Lion Hart, his favorite historical figure, Dr. King, favorite movie, law-abiding citizen. And he's a meat and potatoes man. <laughs> he hates it. Oh, he hates it. I'm sorry. Good read. <laughs> I'm not a fan of it either. They got to come with the same energy now, I think, Xavier. And they really were mentally into that for two steps. Now they got a foul before. And that's the third foul on Jenkins. And the way he's playing, they can look forward to having have problems. Let's see if Xavier recognizes that he has three and goes at him. And he's, he's matched up with Blue too, who can use the shoulders, turn the corner, and create some kind of hold now for Sheffield, number three. And he may have to sit. Jay Wright just shakes his head. He didn't move his feet. He just sort of held on here. He's holding them already. No music either. Inside, Reynolds. I would have gotten right at Oshefu. Right, that's where you go at him, right, Coach? Yeah. Gee, Mike, give it up. Gee, he could do some damage in there. He's got a little hook, drop step, finish. And that's going to be four. A uh, nice, really, deployment. Ball screen at the top. Nice slip to the rim. And it's Jenkins. He picks up his four. Uh, as noted, he has really played very well. And uh, once they get that angle, nice, smart move. Ooh. Quick attack by Reynolds. Jalen Reynolds. Jenkins heads out of the game. He had a little, little shoulder shake on that free throws, does Let's check it out. See if he does it again. Yeah. 62% yeah. free throw shooter. Reynolds with six. But more importantly for Villanova. Jenkins out of the game with four fouls at the 18-minute mark. Who's going to step up? Arthur Diakono to kick. Booth to the basket, hands it off with Sheffield with the easy layup. That was all set up by the arch, able to decimate the D, kick, and they've got him in rotation. Davis just drains one. Wow. Got to stay up. Miles with 14. Listen to this crowd at six. Now a check for our Reynolds across the lane. Nicely done. I thought he could get a little more help defensively from Davis from the top. Inside Reynolds trying to answer. Now they are really going at him. I don't blame them. Smart basketball right now. They're standing in the middle of the ring now, folks. Toe to toe. Punches and bunches. Giving and taking. In the natty. One, three, one. They attack that little elbow. Nice dribble drive. Woo oh, so much for that, huh? His old man couldn't do that. <laughs> Something. Long rebound to Booth. Outlet runs and in transition. Smart play. Booth. 15 footer. Sumner picks it up. Head of steam. Abel on the wing. Rising fire. And we're still right here. You know, Sheffield had trouble getting down the floor. He was tired. Got there a little bit late. You know, just a terrific use of the bounce to get in. 
That elbow is a key area when you attack the 1-3-1. One, one. You got to do it with confidence and quickly after the ball's reversed. Coaches love their point guards, don't they? Yes, they do. Uh, it's, it's a different communication. Nice side. Yeah. it and foul. It might be Bridges. Pretty little slip. You're going to hear a lot about this kid next year. This is a really good read. Here he's screen. Get yourself to the goal. And a nice find. Not facing the ball to the corner on the inbounder either. Isaac Gates from Atlanta, Georgia. I'd like to see you with that hairstyle, coach. I think you do a nice job with the Kaiser Gates type dude. I thought you meant Chris Mack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I never had that much hair. Second free throw short. Darryl Reynolds has come in for O'Sheffield. Mikel Bridges as well. And Jay's given these two a lot of time. Archie Diakono. Nice rebound by Hart. Archie Diakono. Look at the muscle up. Those are the 50 50s you got to get. 51 to 47. Booth a jumper. Counter. How about that? Right at that elbow. It puts the middle man in jeopardy. Should I come up? Does it open up a passing lane if I come up? Bill Booth working a lot with Ashley Howard, the assistant coach. And that jumper keeps getting better and better. Here's Sumner. To the puck. Double touch. They're getting beat off the bounce. And a little tardy cover at the rim. Uh, you mentioned working on the jumper. These kids are taught, shoot it if you're open. If you don't take it, you're coming out. A little stroke at a Baltimore, Maryland nylon. The DP and then the counter. Sumner, we see him do this so well. Gets to the rim, can use either hand. Complete the deal. Saturday, the number one team in the nation is back on box as this top-ranked Villanova squad takes on Marquette. It's all at 11.30 a.m. Eastern on your local Fox affiliate and streaming live. Uh, Fox Sports Go, sponsored by the Jeep Renegade. It's how we live, four by forever. Here's the big question. How long will it last for Villanova? Number one is the loneliest number. The loneliest day of the week, huh? Uh, pretty good run for them. Of course, Michigan State with the longest one there. And they are rounding, I think, at the forum, too. I had Carolina last week, think that's, that's as good as I've seen them play against Miami. They really handled them, you know? Michigan State beating Ohio State on the road yesterday. Denzel Valentine. Ooh, total package. Sheffield on the floor with those foul difficulties. Was three and Jenkins out with the four. When do you bring Jenkins back in the game? I think he's in touch here. You don't have to bring him in. Sumner adds the free throw. Big move. 22 points, but four fouls. Sumner with seven. And here comes the one three one again. They've been driving the elbow, finding either underneath or in the corner. Baseline hard. Nice get one to fall from the perimeter mm -hmm. this evening. And nice job checking out, too. Yes. And Davis does a lot of little things. Got bridges that time. Hart, one for eight from the field. Runs it ready to check in. Baseline, Makura, mid-range jump shot. He was too close. Tough shot. But RG Diakono can't hold on. And that's the one, really. you got to work at that shot to shoot him. You don't pull the string. Bridges. Out for Brunson. He's got that little back screen to get him to the box. He's got that little left hook. Miles Davis. Whose ball taken away by far. Bounce pass McCarroll. And tipped up that end plus one. The Kaiser. How about that weak side position? You get good looks. You get people in position to do some damage at the rim. That is just a 
Terrific play. How about this unusual pass? And the Cure unable to convert, but that opens up as they try and block that shot, the weak side, and the gates open. What a chance. And now Villanova with trouble as Ochefu picked up his fourth. So Jenkins and Ochefu both on the bench now with four fouls. Darrell Reynolds comes in. Kaiser Gates. Seven point lead, Xavier. Blood in the water now. And this crowd at Centos, they can smell it. Archie Diagono dropped in the hole. Can't bend it down. Loose. Rebounded. Abel. That's where they got to be patient. Don't rush it all. Pretty good maneuver with that kid, though. How about that? It's winter time, but Sumner. Xavier on an 8-0 run, tying their largest lead of the game. 59-50. Time for the Lexus playbook. And who else but end the sun? I suggested that he slow down and be patient. But watch his read of Brunson. He was going to stay because he was taking away the baseline. And he goes and takes a man, and all of a sudden it bears the baseline. For the blue by. Long-legged, sweet finish. And on this 8-0 run, the two freshmen leading Sumner and Gates with all eight points. Let's take a look at the foul trouble for Jay Wright. Jenkins with four, Ochefu with four, Bridges with three. And only blew it in a little bit of trouble with three for the Musketeers. Yeah, that really puts them in a hole, no question about it. This is where you'd like to see Hart start to take over a little bit. Roger Diakono. Nice little post up. Hart draws a double team, spins baseline side and banks it in. How about that call for the bench? And Jay wants a foul on that as well. Petty move. Hart averages 15, he has five. Miles Davis driving, gets there. Can't be. Got to do a better job shooting the baseline. And they got a T, I believe, on Jay Wright. Looks like a, a warning, warning, Coach. Oh, because they were standing. Yeah. Brent Hampton giving Coach Wright a break. He didn't tee him up. Miles Davis with 16 points tonight. 61-52 and a foul called up top. Well, the guys do that so well, attacking the leg of the bigs. Far call for a second. Ryan Archie Diacono, last time he played Xavier, hit seven threes at 27 points. Different day, different gym. Exactly. A great atmosphere, too. And this is where I think he can do some damage, Hart. Take Gates off the bounce a little bit. There he goes. Pretty. And boy, they might just ride it, right? A little experience against somebody who's not as comfortable defensively at this stage of his career. And I talked to Kaiser before the game, and I said, you know, you're going to have to guard Josh Hart tonight. He said, yeah, I know, but I think I'm up to the task. But they are the number one team in the country. Way to rule the guy's night, telling him that too early, right? A tough kid, though. He's going to be a really good player. Yes, he is. Booth. combination of Brunson, Booth, and Archie Diakono. They need to give Jay Wright something in the scoring. Yeah, they got to score in the low post area off the dribble, though. They don't have a back-to-the-basket guy. Reynolds back to the basket across the lane. Shows it. The kick. Booth, eight to shoot. Driving. Stay-away jumper. Short. There's Gates, though. Pretty good job defensively. He's long. 6'8". Now Sumner. He just sort of skates around. He slid, slid, slid the foot. Seven turnovers for Xavier. Bridges back in as Booth takes a seat. A little horns 
look right now. Pick and pop. Josh Hart really getting active now. Misses the layup. Miles Davis with the board. Nice thunder. Streaking on the box. Oh, that makes it in. Detroit's finest. Ooh, little favoritism from the hometown. And look at that smile. Largest lead of the game for the X-Men. How about Davis giving it up at the right time? Hart of three. And he quiets the crowd. Remember, Josh Hart can score points in bunches. Big time. Great ticker this kid has. Great look by Sumner. Size and feel. 65-55. Villanova looks rattled. Hart tied up. And foul. Could have been a jump ball. Boy, I love Hart, though, his attitude. He knows they're having problems scoring. He gets himself involved. But look at this pass, guys. Plenty of time. The race, the attack, the kiss. Favored the Musketeers, but a little lapse defensively. And Sumner just doing his magic. mid -size. The Big East season is in its final weeks. Don't miss a single minute of action. Add the remaining schedule to your calendar by going to boxsports.com slash Big East TV now. And a look at the Big East standings. Villanova. Only one loss in conference play to Providence. Xavier, 12 and 3. A Villanova win would clinch a share of the Big East regular season title. And the number one overall seed in the Big East tournament. Uh, right now he's got a, a lot of work ahead. Hart really stepping up though. He realizes that the lack of offensive ability particularly in the low post or the shooting of Jenkins. Miles Davis is on the Xavier sideline and they're rubbing his legs like he may be suffering from some cramps. He is such a solid player, isn't he? Yes, he is. He really has a great understanding of the game. David Fulker, long-time trainer here, taking care of him. Ten points now for Josh Hardy at two at halftime. 65-57. Larry Austin Jr. in the game at the point. Sumner's on the bench. Makura back in for Xavier as well. And this is their little match and communicate. Everybody spacing, trading. Austin Jr. driving. Tried to deal it down. Deflected out. Blew it. Now Austin Jr. to the back in. Rejected. Picked up. R.G. Diakono. Good stand by Villanova. Nice. And they make him pay. Hart. Well, Hart's had a great field up. Nobody covered the wide open Hart. Lewis, 14 foot leader. Hart to heel. Rebounded by Fox. And you get the feeling that the momentum is ready to shift in Villanova's favor. It might be. There's deep loot change defensively. Couple of empty trips now. Abel playing hard. Terrific defender. Hart feeling it. Drive baseline and a foul on Abel. Well, he really does pursue that rim, doesn't he? Very aggressive. When do you put Jenkins back in if you're Jay Wright? 10.39 to go. He's got 22 points, four fouls. When do you put Oshefu back in? He's got four as well. I, I would yo-yo him if I do. I might, I might go another minute or two, maybe the eight-minute mark. Hart, the only Villanova player to score in the last six minutes. RJ Diakono, he's got to hit one. Not this time. Bat it out, picks it up. Oh, oh, ball. Reynolds hitting the deck. You got a timeout? And he got a timeout. Great job by Daryl Reynolds. How about that effort? Oh, they're not going to give up easily. A lot of aggressive guys that know how to win. Edmund Sumner, the talented freshman, played sparingly in the first matchup. Only three points 
before suffering the concussion. Different story tonight. He has 11 points and a career-high seven assists. J.P. Makura with 13. And guys, J.P. Makura really set the tone, I thought, for this game. His aggressive drives and finishes at the rim. Pretty impressive. Archie Diacono. He'll take a jumper. Halfway down, pops out, last touch by Villanova. Yeah, they like that little guard around on the out-of-bounds play. As Booth gets ready to come back in. And Miles Davis, they rubbed his legs down. He's back in as well. Great crowd on hand. They have set a new record, 10,727. We told you standing room only for this game here at Cintas. It's a great atmosphere for college basketball. They broke the record that they set during the Cincinnati game of 10,617. Sumner, the leader, a brick, loose ball. Picked up, Archie Diakono, Davis getting back, uses his body and lays it in. Body search, take the legs away from the defender. Now it's down to six. Xavier is led by as many as 11. And this lets Jay keep the big guys on the bench. Staying in touch. Blew it, baseline. Nice cut. How about that read? Reynolds, not known as a quarterback, with a great find. Makura with 15. And they're on their feet again in the natty. Diacono, cross court deflected by Makura. Great hands by J.P. Makura. Sure was, and seldom does Archie Diacono turn that baby over. What a traffic. Seven turnovers for Villanova. Black clock winding down. They'll give it to Sumner to try to break down the defense. Nice duck in, they're going to get hard on it. Well, just a terrific offensive scheme here as we get the cuts. And a great read by the big guy. And just lack of communication, pointing but not covering. And Josh Hart picks up his third, which sends Jalen Reynolds to the line. Reynolds has been playing well. Had a 10-point, 15-rebound double-double against Providence two games ago. And Ryan Archidiakon, really a well-deserved blow right now. Probably through the media timeout just to give him a right play, a lot of minutes. So Chris Jenkins comes in at the 8.50 mark. The chef who remains on the bench. Now this kid does some amazing things around the rim, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Ooh. Look at the chair. That's his game right there. He might aggravate an opponent. And Chris Jenkins fouls out. Wow. Got to be aware and protect that basketball. A nice little play. He just gives you effort. Sensational. Talk about being involved in this game. I thought he was the guy, the catalyst attitude-wise, in that first half. Well, Chris and Jenkins fouls out with 22 points. He had 19 at halftime. Jenkins is out, Ochefa with four, Bridges and Hart with three. Now they have been aggressive though, Xavier. Taking it at people, posting up, shaping up, begging for the ball. Gates. Gates one of five from the free throw line. Ten point game. Once again, 
Attack the gap. Watson. A little bit of a quick settle. Don't you get right back on the floor because of that foul out by Jenkins. They've been very patient offensively since the very beginning of this game. Sumner curling down the lane and foul. Well, he really takes giant steps. He gets into that lane. Lanky, good handle. Coach, he's 6'6". Six, six. Great size. A couple of pro guys are here who are saying how much they like him. Bridges coming back in for Booth. Booth picked up his second. So Sumner at the line with 11 points and 7 assists. Well, this team was really prepared, Xavier. Come after this. Of course, that payback deal. You know, you get your head handed here early in the year. Chris Mack knows that this series dates back to 1952. Villanova leads it 22 to 4 and has won all six since Xavier joined the Big East, including the conference title game at MSG last March. They're eight minutes and nine seconds away from ending that drought with their largest lead of the game. What a turn and attack, Reynolds. And a steal. No, RG Diakono picks it up. Baseline, Brunson, and hits. Oh, nice little hustle. Arch delivers, and Brunson really got a great-looking stroke. An eternity remaining in this game. Oh, yeah. 71 to 62. The Villanova come up with some answers on Diva. This kid has troubled him. And rebound, too, as well. Look at him. A little hesitation. Easy. Reynolds. Sumner, bump fake down the lane on the bounce block by Reynolds. Daryl Reynolds, that is. Brunson the other way down the lane. Arky Diakono fouled on the baseline. Boy, just a great push early offense. The give. And Ryan Archie Diakono, that ability to turn the corner. Xavier, seven minutes and 17 seconds away from taking down the number one team in America. Can they do it? We'll see. All right, a look at the game summary. Uh, interesting enough, Jenkins with those problems fouling out. They got a Sheffield with the four sitting. And Davis just masterful at finding people. Just love the way he plays. So the standings in the Big East, Villanova, top of the charts and of the number one team in the nation. And when you look at Villanova and Xavier, Virginia, Oklahoma tied at three. Do you think both of these teams deserve a number one seed, Villanova and Xavier? Well, I think what's going to happen now, one will draw, whoever loses today will drop. That's sort of the normal procedure. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. I think it's so wide open this year. It's just going to be fantastic come March. Ryan R.G. Diakono with seven points at five and a half. Former Big East co-player of the year. Such, such a tough, tough guy. And he's a tough team mentally. And Coach Lee Jenkins can only can do is support his guys. They missed the second. 7-12 to go. And back to the combo. Get between defenders. Be creative. Sumner knows how to get in the lane. And then he's really trying to load up. He's pointing the direction. Miles Davis. Sweet down. Big time. Arjun Diakono the other way. He's got Brunson with him. He'll take a three in transition. A lot of quick shots. Yeah, well, they're trying to get back quickly. Nice little hustle. Whoops. Hopefully the coach has got run over over there. Trying to steal Luke Murray. Mentioned them early on. So Booth back in for Brunson. When do you bring Ochefu back in the game? I still hang with him. And they're actually playing well, too. You mentioned the quick shot. 
Maybe an extra pass would help him at the other end. Bridges guarding Miles Davis. Ball knocked away over the hands. Of the and that's a wrap. He is electrifying in his quickness to the tip. Booth for three. Yeah, no glass. This is about time now. Oh, Shepard's up there. I see him. 73-63. Xavier. Hey, people standing here. I mean, they are savoring this effort. Sumner three. And an air ball. Oh, goodness. A breakdown. Not to anybody. And look at this attack. Boy, he can bang him home. A hammer. Jalen Reynolds doing a terrific job tonight of playing great defense and not fouling. Absolutely. And he's locked in the big guys, too. Keeping busy box to box, spinning out. Oh, no. Tipped up and in. Was that McCure? I think it was. J.P. McCure. 17 points. They go 1-3-1. One, one. The fist. 75-63. Nice look. Go strong. Oh. Really went away, Gus. Turn and move that shoulder into the defender. Approaching the five-minute mark of the second half. Baseline, Reynolds. He's been feeling it. Uh, they got to walk, too, but he, he did use that arm. Well, these guys are really into it. No question about it from the get-go. The eighth turnover for Chris Mack's team. As Abel comes in for Makura, he leaves with 17. Xavier with... Just great balance on this basketball team. Going over making some mistakes, you generally don't see them. Bridges. How about that? Very good at taking you off the bounce, this team. His first basket of the game. Ten-point game. Take the time and pry. Now Reynolds driving. Ten to shoot. For Sumner. Splits the defense. Crosses over. And blocking foul. I don't think it's on O'Sheffield. I think it was underneath. Was it Brunson? Yeah. Yeah. Boy, what a heady player he is, too. He just understands the game. And at 6'6", six, six to have the handle that he has. Coach. It's unbelievable. He really attacked the Shepherd, puts him in a tough position. Fortunately, it goes against Brunson. Far and Hart come in for Xavier and Villanova. Bridges and Reynolds head out. And both clubs really leaving it out there, though. Well, they're trying to claw back. Sumner with 15 and 7 assists. 77-65. Xavier matching their largest lead of the game. Good luck. Brunson driving. Contested. Gee, I don't know why he's kicking out. Brunson in the corner. Mm. Oh, Sheffield, I thought he should have gone right back up and put it in the basket. 3.50 to go. Summer driving. Hand in. Woo! <laughs> Boy, can ball, coach. Unbelievable. A lot of lingerie on the deck. Sumner. Edmund Sumner. Point guard.
Saturday. 79 to 65, Xavier, the fifth ranked team in the nation, leading the number one team in the nation. And you were you were excited about this as well. You should be, but you see, once you drive, uh, the opportunity to help the big comes over and just tremendous hops quickly. But I think the real problem has been Villanova. Their miscues, you know, not making some open shots that they generally convert, whether it's around the rim or outside. But this sort of is not at all like Villanova. Uh, didn't communicate, threw the ball out of bounds, and against a real good team like this on the road, you just can't afford that. But Xavier, they are being led by this freshman. Sumner, 15 points, eight assists, five rebounds. He's turned it over only twice. Here comes R.G. Diakono. Got to get some quick hitters right now. And then he's got to make himself like, go fast. Well, that's good defense. You move him off the block. Booth. Strip. Lost it. Far picks it up. Tell you what, this Xavier defense oh, is tremendous. They're always in the right spot. The mixture. Man, that 1-3-1. One, one, little half court trap now. A little timeout. Good understanding by Sumner instead of giving it up. And let's take a look at the remaining schedule for the Musketeers. Tough game. They're going to be at Seton Hall on Sunday. I mean, that's going to be, uh, you've got to be mentally ready for that one, too. You think the Pirates are in? You know, I think they are. You know, Wichita State, when they played them, for example, was rated. Uh, you know, of course, down the road, you've you got to keep winning, basically. I mean, if they win that game against oh, that's big. this against team, Xavier. Xavier. Yeah, exactly. On Sunday. And that's a tough game for Xavier, too, with the high emotionally of this one. And they'll just savor this. Uh, they play great basketball, great preparation by that guy. Not as well known as a lot of people, but this guy can coach. Xavier bench has been terrific, outscoring the Villanova bench 30 to 10. McCure with 17, Far with 8. And Kaiser Gates with 5. Blewett almost turned it over and does. And they can rely on their defense and afford a mistake here and there. Three minutes to play, 79 to 65. Xavier, the line, the baseline, and the jam goes down for Bridges. And a little bit of sleep on that particular one. Extended the floor now, trying to stimulate some action, possibly getting them to crop it up. Boy, they, they worked on that in practice too, going one side to the other. Now Sumner dribbles out of trouble. So much for that, huh? Cross court. Blew it. Baseline. Inside. Far. Held it up high and makes it in. What a nice pass, too. And the, the squeeze by Far to present himself. Far with 10. 81 67. Runs it short. And a foul. Hard fouling. Blew it. Now these fans have. Got what they came for. You don't see Villanova having as difficult a time as you've seen them tonight. I think it's all attributable to excellent defense by Xavier. Blew it at the line. He had seven in the first half, has not scored in the second half. Oh, goodness. That's in you. A little neck ball, guys. See in your playground, that ball will be there forever. That's right. We don't have Nobody can get up. Booth <laughs> <laughs> back in for Bridges. Now, being ready to play is so important. The mental aspect. Man rushed the way Xavier came out, and they continued it. We talked about the balance of Xavier. They have five players in double figures in this game. And Blewett has eight. Makura with 17. Miles Davis with 16. Sumner with 15. That young man 
Reynolds with 11 and Farr with 10. And between, I think, Sumner and Davis, they just really coordinate everything in such an effective fashion. Hart. 82 to 70. 155 and counting. Yeah, you want to really give a good trap. Rotates, even get a steal. Ooh, Shepard a little bit late. Nobody protecting in the back now. Akira. Left hand. Why not? Take it off. That play made possible by Sumner. He's been magical with the ball. Nine assists for the freshman. Oh, He's really worked on that shot, by the way. Davis, tight rope in the sideline. Got a steal by Boo. Well, that's what you need to get back in this if you're going over. Got to step to the ball now. With perfect trap. And Sumner looks to play deep away with a minute to go, and he's fouled. Let's look at the remaining schedule for Villanova at Marquette on Saturday. Followed by a game at home against DePaul and a game at home against Georgetown. Now this Xavier team is a very good basketball team. You come in here and don't have, for example, a Jenkins able to play full tilt or Shepard because of foul difficulties. Well, that hurt them, but uh, Xavier's preparation just extraordinary. Both three throws good for Sumner, who has 17. Here's a kid that did not play major minutes in the first meeting on New Year's Eve because he suffered a concussion. What a difference with him on the floor. Chuckley. Baseline. And that one going down for Bridges. Now they are not backing off. Mistake or two away. Far to Sumner on the far side. And he's fouled again. Can we give it to Bridges. Sumner going to the line again. He's nine of nine. What an impact this kid has. All items you could check off when it's rebounding, finding people, steals. And he misses a second. 40 seconds to play. RGD Akino cross court. Hart changes his shot to Brunson. Well, this is terrific how they're really competing. Blew it, fouled in the backcourt. And that's the fifth foul on Bridges. Jay getting a couple of parting shots. They got a sub. Yeah, here they go. Impressive, wouldn't you say? Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is a solid basketball team. Looking at this game and the way both these teams have competed, you just wonder what the Big East tournament is going to be like. Could you imagine if they were to meet for a third time? The rubber match. You never know what happens in March. 89-80. Six players in double figures. Summer. Look at that, he rebounds the ball as well. And, and the way he wow. cupped it too to make sure it wasn't stolen. And listen to this crowd. 
Now these kids deserve it. Well, a lot of hard work went into preparing for this game and the smiles out there exactly what it's all about. Sumner with 18 points. Yeah, at that size, able to see the floor. Something about big guys at the point from Michigan. Magic comes to mind. That's right. There's right. been a couple. Jalen Rose. Yeah, that's right. And now Sumner coming out of the game. He'll high five his teammates on the sideline. Brunson, 18 seconds. They just keep playing though. So admirable. And, and now Davis brings it up the floor. We can call it off now. Villanova backs off. How about this? The final score. 90 to 83, and for the first time since joining the Big East, Xavier beats Villanova, and they do it while the Wildcats were ranked number one. Mm, pretty impressive from the get-go. Edmund Sumner, the freshman, what a game. 19 points. Nine assists, six rebounds. And the Xavier Musketeers improved their record to 25 and three. 13 and three in the Big East. 14 and one at home. Villanova falls to 24 and four. 13 and two in conference play. Nine and two on the road. Chris Mack hugging his babies. Daddy did good at work today. <laughs> Miles Davis, huge game, 16 points. James Farr also in double figures. He finished with 10. Some happy Musketeers in Cincinnati. Record crowd on hand to watch this one. Villanova, the first number one team to play at Centas. And this was the first ever meeting of two top five teams here. Earlier this year, number six Xavier beat number nine Butler by 19 at Centas in the first ever top 10 matchup here. Chris Mack saluting his crowd. And let's go to Coach Raftery with a talented freshman. Hi, right, Evan. Uh, this got to feel pretty good, particularly after your difficulty at Villanova. How's this feel? Man, this feels amazing, man. Probably, probably the best feeling I've had since I've been here. Uh, you, you ran the show so beautifully. Have you been a point guard since you were a little guy? Yeah, I've always been a point guard. I wasn't always tall. I was short, so I had to play point guard. Uh, congratulations. So we'll check in with the man. I, 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 the 1-3-1 uh, one, one was effective, but the man-to-man, -man, collectively, what did you have in mind when you were playing? Uh, we wanted them to not get open threes, and we wanted to get in our gap and not get uh, driven off the bounce. That was our whole key, trying to stay tight. Okay, well, congratulations. Enjoy it. How about you? Uh, a little aggressive, but I thought you set the tone for this team when you came in the ball game. Yeah, I mean, I, I try to go out there and play my hardest each and every game, and I think I did that today. And I'm happy for my teammates, too. We all play great basketball together, and that's the reason why we won. What, what was the mindset, not necessarily a number one team, but after that devastating loss in Philly? 
we just need to, to, to regroup and get back to, to practice and, and, and figure out ways that we can get better. Um, our, our guys do a great job in practice. We have high energy practices, and, and that's one of the things that we coach focuses on each year, that we, we play together in practice, hard, hard every day in practice, and I think that translates to the game, and, and we did that today, and I think we played hard today. Yeah, you know, you do always play hard, but it's intellectually you play as well. Uh, your approach as a team, solid, generally great defense, but all of a sudden the offensive skills you displayed were pretty special. Yeah, I just try to work on my craft and practice, outside of practice, along with all the other guys on the team. We have hardworking players on our team, and, and, and we play great team basketball. Tough guy for Mitty. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, JP. All right, Gus, take care. All right, Coach, thank you very much. The final score, 90-83, to 83, as Xavier knocks off number one, Villanova. Now let's go to Kevin Burkhardt and Steve Lavin, and they're having a conversation with Coach Mack. Yeah, Coach Mack is a happy guy, rightfully so. It, Coach Mack, it was, a, uh, it was a great scene watching your daughters come on the court and give you a little hug afterward. You know, we talked about this on the pregame show. How did you handle the emotion, not letting your guys get so high where it affected their execution? I don't know if you can really handle it. You know, our guys have played in some juiced-up environments um, over the last couple of years. Um, you know, the Cincinnati game comes to mind. And so, you know, we just felt like, hey, Teams are going to go on runs, especially a team like Villanova, as talented and as well coached as they are. Just got to stay with our plan and just continue to play basketball and, and all the other stuff. Um, don't worry about it. It appeared in that first half that Makura was a real catalyst at both ends of the floor. And Davis provided some poise and leadership as a grizzled veteran. Talk about those two players' contributions tonight. Well, Miles has done it all year. You know, the growth that he's made from the, the beginning when he was a freshman till now, Steve, I mean, you saw it. He's just a guy that really understands the game. He has a high IQ. Uh, he's a great teammate. The moment never gets too big for him. And speaking of the moment never getting too big for him, J.P. McCura, like he relishes um, these type of challenges. I mean, and, you, and you're right. In the first half, uh, he was unconscious, played extremely hard on the defensive end, and um, I've come to expect that from J.P., even though he's only a sophomore. Coach, you didn't have Sumner in the first matchup. He was hurt first two minutes of the game. Uh, clearly, the second half, he just took over driving and dishing almost at will. The difference from him. Well, he, you know, obviously, uh, they had our number at, at Villanova. Who knows what would have happened the first time around, but we were emotionally spent uh, after that incident. But, you know, he, he provides something that um, – it's hard to defend. He gets in the lane. You know, he's got great vision. He continues to make better and better decisions as the season's played out. He's fearless, uh, and he finishes around the basket despite his slight, you know, slight build. And uh, he's a heck of a player, and we're fortunate to have him. Speak to your depth, the versatility, the combinations you can go with, and obviously that's a positive, but also the challenge and the feel game to game and within the game in terms of you and your staff preparing because of that depth. It's a challenge. I mean, every guy on our team wants to play, you know, but, uh, you know, sometimes you have to sacrifice some of the personal uh, accolades and, and, and minutes and shots uh, if you want to have a special team. I think our team has learned that, you know, different guys um, have had career nights and then they'll bounce back and maybe not necessarily be a huge part of the offense the next game. And, and you know, as long as we continue to play together and this, this group really loves one another and it's really fun to coach. Uh, but I think our depth hurt Villanova, certainly foul trouble, uh, plagued them, and you know, that was the plan to try to get the ball inside and, and, and drive it and get in the paint. Yeah, you did that for sure. Coach, was there is there anything, just the, the mental hurdle of beating Villanova? I know it's been only been a couple years you've been in this league, but you haven't had a, you haven't been able to beat them to this point. Well, we're not the only one. When oh, I right. say we're not the only one, other teams have beaten them. Um, I said it. In, uh, at Media Day earlier in New York uh, in the fall, they're, they're the gold standard of our league. And you know, maybe I uh, hyped them up a little bit too much to our team. But uh, tonight, you know, we relished the challenge. We played hard for 40 minutes, and that's what it takes to beat a team of Villanova's ilk. From your perspective, two number one seeds out of the Big East, five, six potential NCAA bids. Your thoughts on that? We don't worry about all that stuff. You know, we've, we've uh, never really worried about our seed in the past. And, and, uh, and I'm speaking the truth. You know, I don't know if Villanova's going to trip up down the stretch. We would love to share a Big East uh, title in the regular season. It's a true round-robin league. 
Um, so who knows? You know, we, we were just taking it one game at a time. We got a huge challenge on Sunday against Seton Hall, who's, in my opinion, a, a very strong NCAA tournament team. So we got to put this one to bed and, and focus on the next one. Chris, by the way, uh, before we let you go, I think your fans heard you about coming out and making noise because that was that was something tonight. Well, I, I wanted to prompt them. I, I knew they I knew they would come out in full <laughs> force, but. Uh, I didn't think prompting would hurt. <laughs> Is there one aspect coming down the stretch? I know offensively, defensively, you're always fine-tuning, keeping your game sharp. But one aspect of play you feel you need to elevate as you head towards the postseason? Just consistency. I mean, obviously, we played extremely well on offense tonight. Um, you know, our free throw shooting at Georgetown, we go 29 for 31. Probably needed to be a little bit better tonight. Uh, but, you know, we were, we were in the first 15 games of the year, a tremendous rebounding team. And we slipped a little bit. I'd like to get that back and again you know this in tournament play you have to defend in order to advance because you're gonna have some tough shooting nights uh, we just have to continue to be a good defensive team Chris Mack head coach Xavier coach congrats excellent win thanks for, for having you guys. me guys That's for sure. coach.